Welcome, welcome everybody back to the Metvid Pro AI channel. Now, today's video is one that I've been meaning to do for quite some time now. Oh gosh, I saw this AI probably over a month ago, but never really got the chance to talk about it. Thankfully, there's no massive crazy AI announcements today that have happened so far, so I can actually talk about this. And this has also been improving slowly but surely, and it's completely free for you guys to try out. You're going to be impressed. And viewers, as we go through this specific AI app today, I want you to keep in mind the idea of creating your own 3D world in real time with AI. Essentially, being able to paint 3D virtual models into reality in real time. This is like the very baby steps to this technology. So viewers, here we are. Welcome to Blockade Labs. And essentially what this is, is a AI based world builder. Anyways, as you guys can see, we can use the mouse here to just sort of drag around and look at this little AI generated world that they have already created for us. Of course, we can create our own. That's the whole point. But yeah, this one is already really impressive. I mean, we can even zoom in here and see lots of intricate little details on this AI world world it's like an alien planet or something um, but you know there's one sun it's not like the sun is duplicated multiple times so it's actually kind of coherent in the way that it's able to generate these worlds and you're actually going to be able to see a pretty insane amount of manipulatability with this you're not just limited to your text prompt although the text prompt is very important and very powerful so when we click on the text prompt we get some instructions here. Start from scratch. In create new mode, every skybox generated will be brand new. When making a new skybox, you have these options to choose from. The prompt bar below, which is where you describe what you want your scene to look like. Every skybox needs a prompt. The toolbar to the left is where you'll find optional brush tools and guides. Any shapes and lines you paint will be followed in your new skybox along with the prompt. And as you can see, this is sort of how we start here. It's like this little 3D sphere that we're trapped inside of. So we can try just a straight up text prompt. Viewers, I am new to this, so I'm not going to be fantastic at prompting it just yet, but we're going to start off with a little test. World built from candy, candy land, trees, animals, nature, all built from and made of candy. And they also have a bunch of different styles we can choose from as well, and they are very, very plentiful. Uh, the basic one that you start off though is digital painting. So let's try it in digital painting. We'll just click the generate button, and now it's going to generate this 360 degree world for us. And as a slight warning, viewers, it does take quite a long time to generate your world, but it is completely free. And here is our world generated. Honestly, it followed the prompt really like shockingly well and very very close if we turn around though we could see there's a whole candy land and candy world built for us in our very eyes and it all makes a lot of sense there's not really too much weirdness besides maybe this up here going on the trees look good though and all of the different candies are very shiny and nice and it's a very if, if I also followed the digital painting, I mean, there's not really much else to say other than it did a really, really good job. Quite beautiful. I love all the different pathways and everything. It's it did a fantastic job, honestly, a lot better than I was expecting. And of course, if you so happen to want to, you could always download these different files. And it actually comes in the form of a JPEG here, and that's how this is all accomplished. And you could actually implement this into VR if you'd like or something like that. It's essentially a skybox or a 360 degree image. Very, very high resolution though, and overall impressive. So viewers, what I've done now is actually draw in my own cyberpunk world, and we're waiting for it to generate right now. But as you can see over here, I tried to draw a weird looking doorway with some cyberpunk accents maybe. We're trying to ask this... AI to do a lot of interpretation for us, so my hopes aren't too high that this image is going to come out all crystal clear and beautiful, but we'll see. I tried to add some floating blocks that I guess could be interpreted as, you know, maybe some flying cars in this futuristic cyberpunk cityscape, and we've also got our main cityscape that we're going to be looking at, and also I tried to make some railings as well because I suppose we're, you know, looking over this beautiful city in front of us in this cyberpunk world landscape. I have no idea how this is going to work out or if it's going to be good. The prompt was pretty short and pretty simple, so we'll see. The prompt was literally cyberpunk city, neon lights, futuristic text, robotics, future city. Okay, and we can actually see our lines overlaid here in the final result. 
Wow, okay, I am really, really impressed. It definitely did a futuristic cyberpunk city without a doubt. We are standing, oh, oh God, we're about to fall through something here, but it definitely followed my various outlines here. Let's see, did it get the doorway? No, it did not exactly do the doorway, but we still got a beautiful cyberpunk city. It tried to follow the lines a little bit. Really cool looking buildings. There's like people around as well. Quite impressed by the amount of detail and everything that this was able to capture out of my extremely crude and frankly abysmal excuse for a drawing. It honestly captured a lot of what I was looking for. You can see the original lines and how it was able to overlay on top of everything and really try to interpret all of those different lines effectively. It did a, honestly a really good job. You can see where everything was kind of thought out and planned for, especially when you look over here at the main portion of the cityscape. And I can't believe it actually kind of got my railing correct as well. That was a pretty cool interpretation there. So let's go see if we can try to change the style up with this. Oh, we can literally pick the cyberpunk style. That must work good. All right, and things are definitely changing up if we decide to go with the cyberpunk style instead of just the basic digital painting style. I think it definitely looks a little bit better, a little bit more unique. It changed up things a little bit, but still really generally followed our original lines quite well, as you can see. The image that we saw before was enclosed in some weird cyberpunk area, but this is actually outside, and you can see there's just so many buildings here. Oh, we're actually on a platform this time instead of falling through the universe. It worked out better, I think. They also have a remix button as well, which is kind of similar to the Mid Journey remix. Give your existing world a new style by describing it. We'll go ahead and completely change up this landscape with the remix mode. We're going to say it's kitten land, world of cats, cat objects, and cats everywhere. And we're going to go for the realistic style. And as you guys can see, by remixing, you actually retain quite a lot of what you originally had. The prompts could not have been more opposite from each other. But uh, yeah, it sort of re-envisioned my cyberpunk world into this pink girly themed kitten world i suppose i don't really see any cats anywhere as i described in the prompt so you can see it's very very much still heavily biased towards that original image instead of being cyberpunk necessarily it's a it's a lot more friendly looking and colorful let's see what we could do with this just as a brand new one let's just make horrifying cat faces everywhere all right so now i've built this absolutely horrifying cat world for us to test out we've got a bunch of different cat heads and all sorts of crazy stuff and again we'll go for the realistic option here with the same exact prompt and generate an entirely new world oh it actually did something here pretty inch oh my god this is kind of scary I actually like the way this turned out though. This is pretty cool. I feel like I'm among the cats. So if we hover over here, we can see it didn't exactly follow our guidelines as closely as we asked for, but it still came out pretty good. Like you can see it, it took this cat and made two cats out of it. This one though, obviously followed the cat's head, obviously also followed the cat's head. And yeah, these ones too, I suppose in, in a way. It's interesting the way it decides to interpret the lines, you know, but overall, I think this one came out really, really good. It, it does look like I'm surrounded by a bunch of cats. Like I just fell into their pen and they're all enamored by me and they're just sort of staring into my, uh, staring into my soul a little bit there. It's a, it's a little creepy, but either way. Now for this one, my goal is going to be to build an entire car and just sort of draw it out and see if it can actually get a hold of that. So we're going to be sitting inside of a, a vehicle. Oh uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of complex lines going on here. We're going to see how this thing is able to handle this and interpret this. Very, very specific in comparison to the other ones we were doing. Now we're going to be staring into the back seat of this car. I, I don't even know. I'm just going to draw some lines. And now we'll try to draw the roof of a vehicle. I, I don't even know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be trying to do something for us. AI, you know, if you can't figure this one out, I don't blame you. And what happens if we like fill a section in? That's what I'm interested in. I know this is supposed to be like a line drawing, but what happens? All right, we're filling this entire section in for experimental purposes only. All right, good enough. Let's go ahead and try to prompt this thing. POV interior of a vehicle, POV inside of a car, steering wheel, vehicle controls on the highway. Uh, I don't even know how this is going to turn out, but let's just click the generate button. All right, here is our final result. And I got to say, um, things did not exactly turn out perfect, but it did a decent job, all things considered. We have two steering wheels, 
first of all. So this is a this is a car that needs two separate people to be driven effectively, apparently. Uh, this first steering wheel is pretty messed up. This one, however, actually looks pretty decent. It's a, it actually looks like a really nice, ornate steering wheel. We essentially have a dashboard here where it's supposed to be, but again, two separate seat is uh, pretty messed up here. But uh, the seat over here looks a little bit better, maybe. And we don't really have much of a back seat here, but... Our roof honestly turned out pretty consistent, all things considered. So filling an entire section area in like this actually had a pretty effective result on the uh, the end image that we got out of this. And, you know, we are sort of on the highway here looking out of the windows. Overall, I think it did a good job for where this technology is at. It did better, honestly, than I thought it would. It, it created something that is at least coherent. So for this next one, we're going to pretend that we are singing on stage of a concert. So we'll draw our little concert stage. This one, I'm not really going to give it as much to go off of. We're going to just do some basic general lines and see what happens. All right, let's go ahead here. This is obviously all supposed to be the people. We got a sun, some clouds, and this is the back of the stage. And yeah, POV singing on stage at a concert, GoPro footage. And it took a pretty interesting interpretation of this. Uh, we are more or less hovering over an entire stadium stage here. So this one was a little bit uh, confused. It said VRC. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. But uh, yeah, it sort of just built this interesting looking concert environment. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I guess it had an interesting time reading my lines. It was able to figure out that all of these are supposed to be people. And behind us, I don't know. I just never built the back of the stage, essentially. And we just have like one big open area where no actual show is going to go on. I, I suppose maybe the show is going to go on here on this little stage. And it's like a 360 degree stadium. Pretty cool stuff either way. It did a decent job at this, I would say. So for this one, I simply typed in YouTube land, land of the YouTubers, like and subscribe. And it just kind of came up with this goofy looking, random looking world. There's like a sphere over here, a bunch of cars, a beach. There's some trees that are very consistent and random all over the place. And then some like random weird text. It's almost like a theme park vibe it was going for. I'm not exactly sure. Finally, here I went for Lemonland, the only thing that was powering this prompt. And I went for the fantasy lands section here. And we kind of got like these random orbs floating around everywhere. It doesn't really exactly look much like a, a lemon themed world. So it didn't follow my prompt that closely, but yeah, just kind of built like a cool looking little fantasy world. Either way, I think that there is a lot of heavy lifting going on on the image generation side for this. There's a lot of interpretation that goes on. So it might not follow your prompt super closely every time, but uh, either way, I'm I'm very impressed with this. It's a very easy app to use. Again, it's completely free, so I'll link it down below, viewers. I would love to see any of your best results posted in my Discord server, which is also linked down below. Viewers, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.